Hi, I'm Greg Hyland, and welcome to my weekly video blog, Critical Tips. This week, the question we'll ponder is disposable shoe covers. What's the most appropriate substrate material? Is it polypropylene or is it plastic? And in order to dual off these two substrates, I'm going to look at four performance aspects. One being the cleanliness, the second the cost, the third the durability, and finally we'll look at the anti-skid properties of these. Well, let's dive right into the cleanliness aspect. What I'd like to do, as you can see, I've taken a plastic shoe cover and put it on one shoe, and I've taken a polypropylene and I've put it on another. Let's just take these shoes that are covered by the shoe cover and illustrate a little wearing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to illustrate the bottom. And if we look at the bottom of the plastic shoe cover, we can see that there is no surface contamination that's been attracted to the shoe cover. None of the shoe cover has basically come off, and you can see there's no particles clinging to it. Let's look at the polypropylene shoe cover. If we look at the polypropylene shoe cover, what we can see is we can see basically the gathering, the bunching up of some of the polypropylene material. So literally, some of the polypropylene material has actually started to come off. So the obvious vote in terms of cleanliness is we're going to go with CPE. The polypropylene with limited wearing actually starts to, uh, you see how it starts to pillow up. Let's talk a little bit about cost. Um, the cost of a polypropylene shoe cover is actually higher in cost than a plastic. The reason for this is the polypropylene shoe cover is stitched. It actually is cut. There's two pieces of material. It's cut. It is sewn, and this is all surge stitching with elastic. This is done by an operator. If you look at a CPE shoe cover, this shoe cover is all made in an automated process. There's no cutting. Everything is ultrasound. So the winner in terms of cost is actually the CPE shoe cover. And remember, first when we went to cleanliness, it should have been a giveaway that the CPE shoe cover you can see is coated Microtech where the polypropylene shoe cover is coated Macrotech. So CPE is cleaner and it's lower in cost. Let's talk about durability. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to revisit my accelerated wear test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these shoe covers and I'm going to continue to do the wearing. That's probably about a good day's worth of wear. And if you look at the floor, you see there's a lot of pillowing material left on the floor. And if you look at the shoe covers, you can see the CPE shoe cover still. No pillowing, no visible wear. If we look at the polypropylene, we can see that we almost have the beginning of a hole right there. We've almost worn through the substrate material. So the clear winner in terms of durability is the CPE. Also look how particles cling to the polypropylene. You see how we have hair and we have loose fibers that are attached to the polypropylene. Finally, let's talk a little bit about anti-skid. There's a little bit of a misnomer with this product. It's called anti-skid because when this is a new shoe cover, it has a coating on the bottom. This is basically a latex paint coating that goes on the bottom of the shoe cover. And the intent of this is to prevent the, the shoe cover from skidding on the floor. Well, this works pretty well in the first couple of steps, but as you can see, after it's been worn for a period of time, almost all of the anti-skid material gets worn off immediately off the pressure pad spots. In contrast with the CPE, the CPE shoe cover gets its anti-skid properties from the embossing pattern. So if we're going to do what we call a coefficient of friction test, which is basically we take the shoe cover, we put a known weight in it, we elevate it, the anti-skid shoe cover, when it's new, has a very good high coefficient of friction, but it degradates very quickly as soon as this is worn off. The anti-skid coefficient of friction for the plastic shoe cover remains stable over the life of the shoe cover. And then finally, let's talk about wet floors. As you can see, the polypropylene material is a fabric material. It's porous. It's going to absorb moisture. The CPE material, the plastic material, is not. So just to summarize, the clear winner in terms of cleanliness, CPE. In terms of cost, lower cost, CPE. In terms of durability, CPE plastic. And in terms of anti-skid, although they're equal from the onset, over the wearability of the shoe cover, this degradates quickly, making the plastic or CPE the clear winner of choice for your controlled environment. Thank you.